<laughs> Hello, my fellow conservatives. I hope that Americans really like French accent. Okay, and I hope too that you see me as less terrifying than the American media depicts me. Because it's crazy, yesterday I was a fascist, today I, I am a socialist. Okay, why not? <laughs> Whatever the media says, it is a real honor for me to add my French voice to this strong sea of patriotic Americans. And today, I have come to honor 240 years of friendship. Our friendship began long before the Nombody shores and the trenches of Bellowood, where the echo of your soldiers' bravery still resounds. Our alliance is neat in the quest for freedom. My country, France, was the first country to recognize your independence. It was... It was by French blood spilt on American soil that our friendship began. Today, over two centuries later, here at CPAC, we are once again standing side by side in another battle for freedom. This freedom is a gift, economic and political freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of conscience are our common treasures. After 1,500 years of existence, it's us, the French, we now must fight for our independence. No France is no longer free today. French are not free to choose their policies, whether they are economic, monetary, on immigration, or even diplomacy. Our freedom is now in the hands of the European Union. This European Union is not Europe. It is an ideology that looks only to the future while being contaminated with historic amnesia. An ideology without land, without people, without roots, and without civilization. The EU is in the process, process of slowly killing millenary nations. I live in a country where 80%, you hear me correctly, 80% of the law are imposed by the EU. Our parliament's only purpose today is to endorse legislation voted by others. Let me be clear here. I'm not offended when I hear President Donald Trump say America first. In fact, I want America first for the American people. I want Britain first for the British people. And I want France first for the French people. That's why, that's why I fight for French diplomacy to keep its unique role, to act, a, to act as a link between the East and the West. A long history has allowed us to form privileged ties with Africa, with Russia, with Asia, as well as the Middle East. We must be able to keep the ability to decide for ourselves our military and diplomatic decisions. Our forces are complementary. Like you, like you, if we want to make France great again, we must defend our economic interests of the global, in the global market. The EU submits us to unfair competition with the rest of the world. We cannot accept a model that creates slaves in developing nations and unemployed in Western countries. I refuse, I refuse the standardized world proposed by the EU. I consider that the people have the right to a historical continuity. All I want is the survival of my nation. To be able to pass on not only my tangible heritage, but also my intangible legacy. This. Vive la France. This young French generation is not encouraged to connect and love this cultural legacy. They are brainwashed with guilt and shame of their country. The result is the development of an Islamic counter-society in France. 
after 40 years of massive immigration, Islamic lobbies, and political correctness, France is in the process of passing from the eldest daughter of the Catholic Church to the litanies of Islam. And the terrorism, and the terrorism is only the tip of the iceberg. This is not the France that our grandparents fought for. How did we get here? How did we get here? Because the EU and French governments forgot one crucial point. To open oneself to the outside, you must have a solid core. To welcome, you have to remain. And to share, you must have something to offer. Without nation and without family, the limits of the common good, natural law, and collective morality disappears as the reign of egoism continues. Today, even children have now become merchandise. We hear now in the public debate, we have the right to order a child on catalog, we have the right to rent a woman's womb, we have the right to deprive a child of a mother or father. No, you don't. A child is not a right. Is this the freedom that we want? No, we don't want this atomized world of individual without gender, without father, without mother, and without nation. So, what do we want then? Finally, just like you, we want our country back. I came here to tell you that there is a youth ready for this fight in Europe today. A youth who believes in hard work, who believes in their flag means something, who wants to defend individual freedom and private property. A conservative youth who wants to protect their children from eugenics and from the gender theory delirium. A youth who wants to protect their parents from euthanasia and protect humanity from transhumanism. Like the American youth, the French youth is an heir of great nation. To whom much is given, much is expected. Our fight cannot only take place in elections. We need to convey our idea across the media, the culture, and the education to stop the domination of the liberal and socialist. That is why I have recently launched a school of management and political science. What is the goal? To train the leaders of tomorrow, those who will have the courage, the discernment, and the skills to defend the interest of their people. The challenge is immense. But the last two years have shown one thing, never underestimate the people. Yeah. Only, only a battle on wage is a battle already lost. Brexit in the UK, Manif pour tous in France, and of course the election of the President Donald Trump prove a fact. When the people are given the opportunity to take their country back, they will seize it. Through your actions and your talent, you have succeeded in putting conservatism right back on the top of the political agenda. Let us build on what you have achieved here so that on both sides of the Atlantic, a conservative agenda may prevail. I finish with a Mellor's quote that I like very much. A quote which sums up conservative modernity. Tradition is not the worship of ashes but the preservation of fire. You were the spark. It is now up to us to feed the conservative flame in our country. Vive les nations libres. Vive les peuples libres. And long live the Franco-American friendship. Thank you. And we're gonna let it burn.